Hello, cancer. Welcome to your shit. Mid December to January read of this current year. Yay! All right, cancers and cross watchers alike. This is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose and away it goes. Because there's no point in worrying about the shit that ain't fucking about you, right? Unless you like gossip. That's a completely different thing. And, and like, when it comes to the mouth runneth cancer, oh my god. You guys will eat that shit up. Like, who are we talking about today? Send me that bitch's name. Well, we're going to make fun of her fucking hair. For looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Ew. You know, like, I like that about cancer. You got to know, you know? Anyway, newcomers, or anybody who's just never been here before, if you want a reading after this, just hit me up. My information's in the description box below. First reading is on the house. We're going to begin with this shit. Oh, yeah. Um, just a quick announcement. I'm not going to be doing, like, the bonus reads. It's going to be the New Year reads for all the signs. So, like, you'll get, like, a forecast, if you will, of what's supposed to be coming up in 2020. Hopefully it's nothing fucked up, but you know, you never know. Also, I like to say naughty words. So if you don't like that, I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, that'll be the next little thing, so watch out for yours. All right, Cancer Rancer. We got a scorned woman over here that's already got blood on her swords, and I don't know fucking why. Who hurt your feelings? <laughs> Ooh, I see Someone wasn't fair to you, or whoever it is, you know, Cancer, Cross, Watch, or Like, we'll see. Uh, wants and wishes. Self-fulfilling prophecy? Because that's not good. That's like repeating bad shit. That's like repeating bad shit that you know is bad for you. That's kind of harsh, man. It's kind of harsh. Mmm... Hmm. Like, a ne like, I usually say never ending cycle when it's reversed like that, because you're just repeating shit. You know, when you really look at this card right here, what you'll notice is that the metal's getting poured down in here and going through the pipes to be manufactured and shit into pentacles. But this way, it can easily look like it's just going to go tumbling back down into here and starting all over again, like an endless cycle, right? So it's like repeating the same formula and expecting different results. The definition of stupid, as my father would say. For some reason, people think that like doing the same thing to get different results is insanity. No, that's stupidity, and I don't know who decided that other than a video game character, but that is not that that is. It's stupidity, because you already know the end results. Obstacles and challenges. That happy ending with the Ten of Cups. Fears of rejections, not being able to rest with the Four of Swords, my loves. How this shit starts, how it'll end, it'll bring full circle to the cycle. Mind games that apparently aren't meant to work, or they won't work together. Like, there's something fucked up in the system. Someone's repeating history. <laughs> like, hmm. The devil, your counterpart, Cancers. It's Capricorn's card. He's sneaking the fuck in there to stack some shit. You know, like, whatever. Right? Just, is coming in there like swiggity swooty, coming for that booty. And he's got booty right there. Look at that tush. Look at it peek out through that fucking coat and under the pants. It jiggles as he wiggles inside the arena, because I was about to say something way worse. <laughs> <laughs> my bad my bad <laughs> all right kids and kidettes or is that adolescent no that's adolescence i don't know what i'm talking about okay someone's all scorned because the obstacle to get this happy ending is causing them unrest and that's something that they've been afraid of this entire time right but there is unfairness at play here and there needs to be balance with that but unfortunately somebody wants to follow the same stupid ass formula they've been doing in order to get that fucking win um then goals met not quite but the mental satisfaction of winning something which is like Okay, brah, like, weird flex, but okay. I'm being serious, too. It's like... 
They aren't, they aren't worried about how they portray their finances or their emotions. It's all like thought. So that to me is weird. But I guess that's why the devil's here because he's making things all confusing and shit and the da 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 or it's just a Capricorn involved. That same effect, honestly. Anyway, Queen of Swords. What's up with her? Why is she all of a scorned woman? Why is that your energy, Cancer and Cross Watcher? Like, who did what to you? Oh, uh, you feel like there's no escape from disaster no matter what you do? Got you uh, feeling like a really angry, bored-ass Becky. Queen of Cups right here, not feeling the love at all. And this world just seems like it's all fucked up for you. It just feels like, what? what, what is my life right now? Like, I feel like I can't even go get hot dogs the way I used to. And I'm so sick of that shit, you know? Like, fun fact, right? Like, I took a picture of my breakfast this morning because it was like... This shit's too delicious not to take a picture of. Like, fuck, like, the nonconformity. I'm a fucking, like, take a picture of my food. And one of my friends who's a cancer was just like, where's my motherfucking breakfast? <laughs> And she was so mad I didn't get her for fucking breakfast. But she lives all the way in Braxton County, which is like a good hour from me, so. Let's see. The situation. The Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is really unfair. Like, it's a balanced act, though. That's the thing. Like, it's balanced, but that doesn't make it fair. You know, just because it's justified doesn't make it fair. You can justify murder if you want to. We call it the U.S. government. Hmm... <laughs> But somebody didn't notice that because they were infatuated with somebody, Cancer and Crosswatcher. Uh, somebody who would quickly turn their back on them because they made a mistake. It could be a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries, of course. Also, Pisces and Scorpios up here as well. And they're just refusing to really open up about the world, which leaves somebody else feeling really heartbroken and stuck in the cold. Which is weird for me to say, but that blue flower always makes me feel cold. Like they can't feel anymore. Like someone fell in love with an asshole who's never fucking happy. Or some shit. Hmm. Yeah. Cancer Crosswatcher, you can worship this person all you want and it'll never be fucking enough. That's why they're over there with their booty out. Wants and wishes, eight of pentacles, reverse, uh, it, it fucking a cycle, a repeated, stupid cycle, you know. Someone sees the dangers already, could be air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, but they, <clears throat> like they see the dangers, they're not trying to run towards something. Because, like, they got this shit going on with themselves. The devil, once again. Capricorn's involved in this. Someone is not trying to run from their devil. They see the shit, but they ain't doing nothing about it. Hmm. Let me drop one more of these on here. Because, like... Hmm. Why aren't they going towards the... Why aren't they dealing with the disaster? Why are they just repeating shit? Because they don't want to take the actual leap of faith to actually deal with something, or they don't have the ability to. One of the two. It's like they're trapped. Cancer and Cross Watcher. Whoever this queer it may be, they feel completely trapped from, like... I don't know, like, being themselves or some shit? I don't know, it, it's kind of weird, because, like, someone, someone's saying, um, someone's saying it's, like, you pretended to be, like, someone pretended to be a hard-ass for so long that once they started trying to go back to being, like, a cool person, they couldn't, because people thought of them as a hard-ass. That's what somebody was saying. I don't know who that was, but somebody was saying that. It's like, you pretended so long to be somebody you're not. 
Or someone pretended to be somebody they're not for so long that they, like, caused everyone to forget who they really were. And now they gotta keep up and act in a routine because people don't know how to respond to them true selves. That's fucking... That was excessive. Like, really excessive. But, okay. Thank you. Obstacles and challenges. Ten of cups, right? Someone wants that happy ending, but someone isn't going for that booty, and it's right there. It is literally right there, on a, on, 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 right under that coat. The booty's right there, and someone's not going for the booty. That's <laughs> a lot. Thank you, cards, for setting yourselves up so nicely. Let's see. Um, they can't get over their own fucking issues to like go to the booty, right? Sorry, I'm messing up my cards again. My apologies. I, I have issues in there. They're still not the way I want them to be, but that's okay, because I'll just ignore that and it'll go away. Uh, someone's still in their feelings, and that's why they don't want to um, take passionate action towards this man with the fine, delicious juiciness that hangs between his thighs and his back, right? Mmm. Cancer Cross Roger, somebody feels like a fucking fool. You know, everybody plays the fool sometimes. There's no exception to the rule. Until you sit here on the beach endlessly for days, like I don't want to go back to my fucking job, but you're not going to do anything else either. Whatever this clearing is, man. I don't know. All right, Four of Swords, Reverse, not getting any rest. That's a fear of rejection for somebody, right? They want to be themselves again. They want to feel happy with the Nine of Pentacles, that emotional satisfaction. But they're not going towards it. They keep wanting to resurrect this bullshit over yonder. They're just like, oh, I don't know, man. Like That emotional satisfaction and contentment just seems like a lot, you know? Either that or they need to really figure out what the fuck the, all of this balance really represents, you know? Like, they keep going back to the fiery bird that's gonna burn everything away, because that's what phoenixes do. They blow up and destroy entire towns whenever they resurrect themselves. At least that's what I know of from a story that I read back in high school or some shit. And I can't remember the name of that story for the life of me. Maybe it was middle- no, it was high school, because at least in high school they had good stories and shit. But it's like, you know... This person wants to get closer and closer to the fucking phoenix. Um, trying to establish some form of balance. But the problem is, is like, they're doing, they're not going towards emotional fulfillment as well. But like I said, this person is so used to pretending to be something else that they aren't, um, uh, that they can, they can no longer escape that. They, they, like, they, they got the full reverse right here. They're not trying to go towards that. Um, uh, not trying to go towards anything at all, honestly. Like, it, it, to them, I feel like it's more dangerous to be yourself than it is to be anything else which is like a really sad mask to wear like i don't know man how this shit starts how it'll end with the man with the fine juicy booty five of swords head games trying to win battles Gain victories, right? This is based off of a lack of communication, a lack of healing, a lack of reaching out, lack of a wish. Aquarius, this card, the star, a star is born, but not really. Um, so, someone didn't communicate because they say it all in their goddamn feelings. Hold on. Because I can't lay cards right. And now they feel stuck trying to find a reason to leave. Like, trapped in a cave or some shit. With whoever it is that supposedly makes them happy, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Ending theme. My bad. What's the ending theme with this devil? Like, well, I don't understand. Like, the devil's over here, but it's more of a representation of a relationship than it is a Capricorn. So, I don't think that it might be a Capricorn involved, but, like... I don't feel like they're actually there. And if they are, I don't think I don't know if they're playing as big a role as like what you could be possibly making this Cancer and Crosswatcher alike. 
something didn't work in the past like it did before on a devil. Cancer, I love you, but did you try to hijinx a fucking Capricorn? <laughs> or did you have something that didn't work out with a Capricorn like it did before? This is like, I've seen this shit work before. Why didn't it work this time? Because the devil came into play. Like, you know. How strange. How strange indeed. Hmm. Well, we need to clarify, don't we? Yes, we do. I love clarify. How about you? Probably. Just so you know more shit. But, you know, that's beside the point. Let us see. Cancer. For the energy, right? Someone wants to talk after a fucking nasty argument. It's just like, look, we're not going to hit each other with sticks anymore, right? Hey! Okay, cool. You know? But this requires you also, like, just pour out your emotions and shit, too. Cancer, that could be you. Or just the ability to, like, have a discussion with this person without an argument would help relieve a lot of your emotions so you can release them a little better. The situation below... All this idolization and shit. Um, you know, everything has been coming together because of this lack of communication that's been going on. Just pouring some shit all over yourself like that's normal and shit. Um, might have you stuck for a reason. Huh. I wonder what that is. I need to, like, scrub my feet because they're so dirty. Hmm. What's that? What, what the fuck is that up about, my dear cards? Like, what up with it? What is this? Oh, there might be something that needs to be said first, Cancer and Cross Watchers. You could be waiting for someone to message you or text you or some shit and you're not getting it. And that's because they're restricting your mouth. Or this could be you restricting your mouth. Just shoving a bird in, being like... Duh, 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 duh. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Was that an apology? <laughs> you know, like not wanting to say anything at all. Not sending the message out. Just hiding you even have a message to begin with. And yet somebody is sitting here waiting on their phone. Like, are they going to text me? Are they going to text me? Are they going to text me? And, you know, that's not a very fair thing to do. Right? Well, not a very just thing to do. But like I was saying before, you can justify anything. Or did I say that to you guys? I don't know. That could have been like Gemini, honestly. But you could be sitting there waiting for someone to talk to you and they're not doing it. Up top with the wants and wishes. You want your lover. You want your friend. You want to make choices that are good for you, even in the end. No, no, no. We'll drop one more because that's like, what the fuck? Like, dude, you're expecting to be given something. Okay, is someone going to give you something, but it isn't really full of love? It's just bullshit? Yes, it's full of bullshit, literally. Like, he's even rubbing it on the bowl just to make sure it stinks extra. Definitely could be dealing with the fucking Capricorn. He's just like... I don't know. It's like they're hell-bent on, like, fucking with you a little bit, I think. Or they're expecting something from you, and since they're not getting it, they're being a little bit vindictive. Or are you expecting someone to give something to you, Cancers and Cross Squatchers, just so you can reject them? And give them bullshit back? Because that could go either way, too. It's like wanting to give somebody something and then just being like, Psych! It's not real! It's some horse shit! You know? Like, just it, like a bait and switch. Either you or the person you're dealing with, Cancers and Cross Watchers alike. Obstacles and challenges. Yeah, the truth not flying the way it's supposed to because someone just wants to take a break too much and not carry the burden around like they're supposed to. They keep trying to nap. The fears and rejections, right? 
This shit needs to be buried. Stop going back to try to make things equal and balanced and fair. Someone's not doing that for you. They're they're leaving you sitting there wondering by the phone, you know, um, is this person ever going to, like, call me or text me again? Like, no, just let it go, man. Just let it go. Be happy being by your single-ass self. There's nothing wrong with being single and by yourself. Last card. Then we're done. Yeast. Let's see how this shit starts, how it'll end. Someone isn't letting it the fuck go. Because they have yet to have that tower hit them twice. I'm dropping one more. Like, that's like the fact uh, someone won't let it go because it, like they haven't learned their lesson yet. Like, e like, even if they did, they're ignoring the tower for the most part. Like, oh, I can, I can just add more to this foundation. I'll just find some other bricks to fix what got knocked off. We'll put the bodies on, like, fucking puppet strings. We can still make them work, you know. Like, you know, you still need to come to your job. Nobody cares if you died. You're gonna be late. <laughs> yeah, just dragging someone else through the fire in order to make themselves happier. Or drag somebody else through it. One and the two. Cancers and crosswatchers need to be careful with who you're dealing with. Because whoever it is, either you guys or the people you're dealing with, for the most part, um, I feel like their shenanigans aren't working as much as it used to. And because it's not working, it's starting to, um, Make you realize some shit about them that you don't like necessarily. And that just ruins your day. But that's what I got for you guys so far. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. If not, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Uh, I greatly appreciate it though. But you guys have a wonderful freaking day. I love y'all's faces. I hope y'all got some. Well, something from this. I don't know what, but hopefully you got something. But I'll see you later. Take it easy. Bye-bye.